morning everybody. Welcome back to another Fall Food Friday. This week we're going to be making a pumpkin pecan coffee bread. Pumpkin pecan. Sometimes I say pecan, sometimes I say pecan. It all depends on what's coming in front of the word pecan. So we're going to be making that and we're going to make a maple cinnamon latte. So I've got the bacon started. We're about to scramble some eggs, but y'all are going to go back to yesterday evening when we made the coffee cake. Are you Bigfoot? <laughs> Get that face! <laughs> he's saying that he's Bigfoot. We passed a little, somebody had Bigfoot with some pumpkins that we passed it the other day and anytime we mention it, he says that he's Bigfoot. Okay, out. You gotta let the quack quacks out. We already let them out. He gave me the umbrella and said it was raining. You got it? Right <laughs> Mama. I guess he doesn't want me to get rained on, but it's not raining. There we go, yay! Uh -uh. <laughs> Jonah's taking the feed tonight. He loves for the chickens to chase him, so he wanted to take a feed. <laughs> They're off. You got a beep beep? You got a Christmas beep beep. All right, y'all, we are back inside. The kids are gonna be taking turns getting baths and getting ready for bed. I'm gonna go ahead and start this coffee cake for in the morning. <laughs> All right, Sissy Mae is here to help. Let's see, we need two cups of flour. This is a pretty easy, do you know what we're making? Yep, pumpkin pie. Oh, you remembered. Well, it's not pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin pecan coffee cake or pumpkin pecan coffee cake. Sometimes when the words are in front of pecan, I say pecan, like butter pecan, pumpkin pecan coffee cake. <laughs> the helpers vanished. They're looking at birthday cake choices for Jonah's birthday cake. So we have two cups of flour in there, two thirds of a cup of sugar two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I mean, that's fixing to use up all my pumpkin pie spice. And I looked at that like a couple of times because I was like, a tablespoon? Are we sure about this? That's what it said. Are you back? Yes. Sissy's back, okay. Um, let me get the whisk. Now, we need one cup of pumpkin, just the, you know, pumpkin puree. And I have this that was left over from a can that I used for whatever the last pumpkin thing we made was. <laughs> so we're gonna get a cup of this out. Okay, Cece, I think that that's almost a cup. Leave, I'll tell you when. Go ahead, you're gonna put almost all of it in there. That's good. Half a cup of milk. We put in half a cup of oil. that. One teaspoon of vanilla. This actually uh, doesn't take that long to make this little pumpkin pie. Pump, what is it? Pumpkin pecan coffee cake. There you go. All right, y'all, so we got that all mixed up and I got my casserole dish ready. I'm just using an eight and a half by eight and a half. I think the recipe said a nine by nine, but I had an eight and a half by eight and a half, so that's what I used. So I'm just spreading that out and then we're gonna sit this over to the side and make the topping. Okay, so in this bowl, we're just gonna mix some brown sugar, melted butter, a little bit of flour, and some cinnamon. And we're just gonna get that all mixed up, then add in some pecans. You can use whatever you wanna use here. If you don't wanna use pecans, you can use walnuts, whatever you wanna use. And we just mix that all together. Then when I get ready to put it on top of the coffee cake, I just put a little bit of flour on my hands so that when I'm crumbling it up on top, it doesn't stick to my hands. So once I got it spread out on top, I just pressed it down a little bit with my hands and then it goes in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. Mine only took 30 minutes. So I would start checking it at around 20 minutes, but yeah, mine was done after 30 minutes.
Okay, y'all. The coffee cake is really good. It's not very sweet, though. The kids started putting maple syrup on it, and I was like, what? It has the texture, and it almost, it's almost like a big, fluffy pancake. So then I put a little bit of maple syrup on this piece, and I realized that it is good. <laughs> so the cake itself is not sweet. It's not very sweet at all. It's just, you get the pumpkin flavor, of course, because we've got a lot of pumpkin and pumpkin pie spice in there, but it's not very sweet. So yeah, it's good, just not super, it would be really good with just, you know, the piece of cake and coffee, which we're about to make. Tyler's back for another piece. He said he really likes how the syrup soaks down in the bread. It is really good with the syrup on it. Y'all had a good idea with that. Okay, for the maple cinnamon coffee, we're gonna put a little bit of maple syrup inside of our coffee cup. Just about a teaspoon, this one was almost empty. <laughs> now we're gonna sprinkle in just a little cinnamon, just a little bit like, you know, just a little sprinkle. And my coffee maker turned off. Ah, I turned it on earlier this morning, like really early, and it's already turned off. Now we wait. I'm just using regular coffee, McCafe kind this morning. I don't have any unflavored donut shop. We're gonna leave out the cinnamon because we're gonna put some of it on the top. All right, we're just stirring that to melt in the maple syrup. Now, the fun part. Inside our little cream thing here, we're gonna put about a fourth of a cup of milk and a couple of tablespoons of Dunkin' Extra Extra Creamer. Okay, now we froth it. Now we just pour this into the coffee. And we sprinkle a little cinnamon on the top. That's it, maple cinnamon latte. Let's see how it tastes. Amazing, oh my goodness, that is so good. <laughs> It's like just enough maple flavor. You could also probably skip adding the maple syrup and just use a maple coffee, like the Dunkin' Falling for Maple. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the recipes this week. Right now, we're gonna take a look back at last week and see who all participated in the first week of Fall Food Friday. All right, first up we have If the Creek Don't Rise, In the Kitchen with Mama Mel, Managing the Maze, Meal and Tater, Southern Family Life, Simply Enjoying Life, Create with Linda, What's Up Family Home, Steffi K's Farm Family, Mostly Mom Stuff, Melissa's Kitchen Table, Brady Browning, Debbie Food Prepping, Ree and Chi, Takayla Christine, Reen's Place, Southern Country Living, Shop Sip Saute, Mama Cat's Home, Appalachian American Homestead, Our Small Town Life, Chaotic Country, Two Cousins Cooking, Debbie's Kitchen, Missy J. White, A Mess Called Jess, Bonda C, Big Steak on the Grill, The Curtains, Home Sweet Homes, The Hargett Life, Jerry B., Taurus Family Living, The Hodgepodge Life of Jesse, Missouri Grown, Carolina Home, Pancakes and Pandemonium, Blended with Love and Adventure, Lauren's Southern Life, Home Wrecker, and Caitlin Dugan. All right, that's it for last week's videos. I was so excited we had 41 total. If I missed anybody, please let me know in the comments so that I can get you added. And if you made a video for this week, don't forget to let me know so that I can get it added to the playlist. I can't wait to see what everybody made. Okay, y'all, if you haven't watched those videos, make sure you go check out the playlist. There are some really good recipes on there and more are gonna be added this week. So it's gonna be linked in the description box. Make sure you go check it out. I think fall foods are the funnest foods of all. There's a lot of Fs and alls in that fall food. Anyway, now it's time to really get this day started and I gotta clean up the kitchen and drink my coffee. The kids have a little bit of time before school, so they all went outside. It's pretty cool out here this morning. Time to bring out the jackets for the mornings at least anyway. Rocking chair? Yeah, a rocking chair. That mine, mine. This one? This one mine and that one yours? Now he's happy in his rocking chair. Do you have my frother? <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs>